Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, at this channel, we're a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. We are all about saving lives over here at the Jamaica Young Police Center. So that's why we support preemptive strikes. Because preemptive strikes save life. Anyone who can make you believe absurdity can make you commit any criminal act. A wise man can change his mind, but a fool will never. Because he's a fool. And remember that you must never try to educate a fool. Because the fool will eat you. Only a friend will tell you the truth. And fakers will cheer you on even when you are wrong. Anyone who has the balls or spine to tell a friend the truth, after that, most people, especially Jamaicans, normally get vexed and upset with you and end the relationship. But guess what? They weren't even your friends anyway because they do not respect others who are honest, truthful, and straightforward with them and not a faker. Before we begin today's video, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel want our audience and detractors to know that anything that we have said here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel that is incorrect, you can reach out to us at 954-556-0275 and we will give you the chance to correct the same. To us, the first and foremost thing about us on this channel is our character, credibility and reputation. We have never slander or defame anyone's name on this platform. And whatever you are hearing is the truth. If the truth shall kill those who hate the truth, let it kill them. Remember that we said before, those who do not know the truth are fool and those who knew the truth and call it a lie is a depraved and criminal minded people. Never say what you want to do until you experience it. Like being a police officer. So don't say that things, you know, until you experience it. So you cannot, you know, you know, have a lot of blow ons out there telling you how police are supposed to operate. But don't say anything until you have experience being a police officer. Yes, today we're going to talk about Javon Jemison, the son of Marlon Pelper. You know, those who are familiar with Marlon Pelper would know that Marlon Pelper is a man who's from Matches, Matches Lane. Most Jamaican call it Matches Lane. I don't know how them come by Matches, call Matches and something like catch fire, but them call Match, Matches Lane, Matches Lane. From where I've been small. So this young man, you know, um, left Jamaica with his mom, stepfather filed for him, and his mother came here um, in North, North Florida. At, uh, not Lauderdale in southern Florida in Broward County so you know migrate here you would think that you know going back to school because he's a brilliant guy and make himself a better man not want to take him the same road as his father because his father was here involved in drugs dealing and the next thing he was deported in Jamaica doing well and Zeke's yes Donald Zeke's fifth sent men to kill him because he was from Matthews Lane so you know that more or less the mother must be beating him in his head, telling him not to follow such, follow the footsteps of his father because his end is going to be bitter. But you know, in all in these um, youths, they believe that you know data, they are not going to be a part of the data because they control the derivative. And they don't understand that, you know, once you get yourself involved in crime, there's only two way out. You either go to prison or you're going to be killed. So, and he chose that life to gamble with it. And, you know, you in life you only have one life. So, you know, you try to make the best of it, but they just want to get rich by any means necessary. So, he came here um, in not Lauderdale, that's in Broward County. That was too slow for him, so he went to New York with his friends and information received and obtained is that he had took some drugs on consignment, some, you know, Bob Marley, and the next thing that uh, he owed these people money 
and he didn't pay. And you know, when they were asking, asking him about the money, he was posting things on his WhatsApp, you know, saying some disrespectful things to his supplier. And they didn't take it kindly. And the next thing, there are several videos that's making rounds on social media showing that, um, you know, moments before he was shot and moments after he was shot. Everything live. You know, nothing that's hiding anymore. You know, so. And that was, you know, that was the end of Marlon Pelper's son. So he follow his father's footsteps and get an early exit from this world. So he goes to show you that not because you know your father was a known criminal or a known bad man per se, mean that people is gonna respect you because you are Marlon Pelper's son. You now it's a different era we're living in. Criminals have no respect for life and they don't care who you are. The fool the fools in their hearts say that there is no God. Those who do not know the truth are fools and those who know the truth and call it a lie are criminal minded people. 23 year old Javon Jemison of North Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida who heals from a Kingston East community, Franklinton, Kingston, was killed in New York City. So Report from homicide detectives from the 113th Precinct and Patrol Barrow, Queens, South are still searching for two gunmen who allegedly shot and killed a Florida man in front of St. Albans nightclub early Saturday morning. Yes, uh, two gunmen at large in a cold-blooded killing that was caught on camera in St. Albans. So chilling surveillance video making the rounds on social media show 23-year-old Javon Jemison of not Lauderdale Broad County engaged with several men near Silova Road and Merrick Boulevard just after 2 a.m. on Saturday, April 8, 2023. The argument escalates to violence when one of the men pistol whipped Jemison across his face and then fired the first shot. than first shot of more than a dozen shots at the victim as he desperately ran for his life in front of Pure Lounge nightclub at 126-19 Merritt Boulevard. Jemison was chased down and shot multiple times. The one assailant that began the spasm of sh violence returned to fire more shots at Jemison as he was prone on the sidewalk in a pool of his blood. The gunman drove off in a waiting car. EMS responded to the crime scene and rushed Jemison to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. City Council woman Matansha Williams, who represent the neighborhood where the cold blooded killing occurred, called on her colleagues in government to do more to help such violence in Southeast Queens and across the five boroughs. Gun violence is, person, is a person issue in New York City that need to be addressed, Williams said. Too many lives have been lost due to senseless violence. I am truly disheartened to hear about the events outside of Pure Nightclub on Saturday. My heart goes out to the family. As a council, we need to focus on cracking down on gun violence and crime to create a safer community. An NYPD spokesperson told us that the shooting did not appear to occur due to a dispute inside Pure Lunch and they were searching for two men who fled the crime scene before police arrived. The motive behind the shooting is unclear at this time but we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we can tell you that the shooting is has to do with the non-payment of some Bob Marley. The primary gunman wore a multicolored hooded sweatshirt and ripped jeans. Anyone is asked to call the NYPD's Crime Stoppers at line at 800-577-TIPS and you know you'll get a reward. You know Jamaican people they love 
money. So that is an incentive for you to report um, given information you know about this killing. The sad part about it with this killing with Javon Jemison is that this young man is the only child for his mom. So you know what she's going through right now. But the thing is that with these young people, they don't understand life, you know, actions of consequences. But they do believe that everything that they are immune to, the true about crime. They don't believe all the things that have been imparted to them, that if you're involved in crime, it's only two way out. It's either you go to prison or you, you, you're killed. Because, you know, remember that the first year to be a criminal, you have to be a dishonest. That means you have to be a liar. So, just with that, there's no trust involved in criminality. So I don't know why someone would want to choose a career like that. Because if the first trait for you to be a criminal is dishonesty, and you want to pursue that life, then you know that your hand is going to be bitter. You understand? But people rather to do things because being a criminal, they believe in the fast money and they want to get rich and they want to, you know, portray themselves as larger than life. But at the end of the day, what most people don't understand, you know, being a criminal, even when you make the money, even when you make the money, most of them don't live to enjoy it because they end up in prison and then the government take away everything. So what's the sense? What's the sense of pursuing something and in the long run it's a gamble? You're gambling with your life. It's best for you to be poor and you live a healthy life. You understand? Just do the right thing. There's so many opportunities in the United States of America. Not that it is great, it's the greatest country on earth and it's still one of the wickedest countries in the world. But you have to just know how to navigate around the system. This young man unfortunately followed the footsteps of his father and based on that he gets an early exit out from this world. I know if he had listened to his mother and just stay right there in all of the day, stay away from people who are corrosive and acidic, he would still be alive today. Date. But he chose to associate himself with people who are criminals and that's that's the end of it. That goes to show you that you know, there's no loyalty among criminals. I don't know how many times we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel need to repeat this to these young men that be um, choosing a life of crime, there's no win-win situation for you. You're going to lose. You're going to either lose your life or your freedom. And you choose one. It's best for you to toil and do all the things, work hard and do it the right way so that you don't have to worry about the government question how you came by whatever you have. It is sad that this young man has lost his life in such a violent manner, but that's a life of it when you're indulging a life of criminality. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel would like to extend our deepest sympathy to his mother, uh, having lost her only child. There was nothing that you could have done because I know more or less you have spoken to this young man not to go to New York. But although you are his mother, you did not have that influence over him as your child. And for that, he pays with his life. So you have done your best and your best was not good enough for him. He wanted something better and he chased it and at the end of the, end of the day, this is what happened. To all the mothers, try to instill good values inside into your, in your son's psyche. Teach them the difference between wrong and right. Let them know when they are wrong and let them know when they are right. Don't tell them they are right when they are wrong and tell them that they are double right when they are right. They have to be a balance. I too am a son. So I have been through all those cultural socialization when I was small, growing up even as a teenager, even as an adult, and I still receive counsel from my parents. So, you know, we must be very, very cognizant of the fact that older heads, they know what's ahead when they tell you not to do some things. 
don't feel like you know everything and these this generation they think they know everything and that is why the world is in turmoil at, at this time as we have said before I will say it again we are at the Jamaica Young Police Channel we are about saving lives not encouraging taking life and it's sad that Javon is no longer here but that's a part of life when you choose a certain lifestyle if this is the first time to the channel please hit the subscription button like the video yes like the video so others can get it and share the video and most importantly yes comment below we read our comments and we respond in due course have yourself a beautiful day jamaica young police channel out